Now, crankshaft materials. So we got four, and then I'm talking performance now. So we got 4340, 4330, and fuel is ENB30. Now, everybody says my imported crank's 4340. I'll guarantee you guys it isn't. It's not like 4340 that I would buy from Timken or some other manufacturer in the United States. Now, 4330, the three here is one tenth less carbon. Now, the new LS LT cranks are 4340. Chevrolet finally got off the nodular iron crap and went to a good material. And that's why people love these things put huffers on them, you know, I mean, they get away with a production crank. The thing is, the 4330 has vanadium in it, and the vanadium allows you to get the hardenability easier where you want it. So your billet stuff is always 4330, okay? Now, 4340, you nitrite it. Now, on a fuel crank, that's this ENB30, yeah. Now. The thing is, you through harden that crank. Now, when you through harden a crank, you cannot straighten it. You know, you might think, oh, I'll just put it in the press or I'll beat on the radio. It didn't want to change it. So now, just to build this crank, now that's 5,300 bucks for a fuel crank that maybe makes it eight passes, maybe you're lucky and get 15. So going fuel racing is expensive. But now we're heat treating it to a 55 RC. But before we do it, every surface on the crank is 140 thousandths oversize. So now when you get it back, you gotta grind all the mains, rods. Now this flange is 55 RC. Now I gotta drill it, I gotta tap it, I gotta drill the front nose of the crank, tap it, and they use, it's a special uh, carbide high pressure drill, but when you break one, 155 bucks out the window. So, and then your taps are crazy too. So one, very hard to build these things. And that's, and so everything is longer, longer, longer. Now, the, what I like is on the EMB30 is uh, Tempkin, by the Timken billets, stuff's right on, same every time. But when you see this, don't be surprised.